Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom shaped repeating LFO. In here, I have this kind of a setup and I have the fruity XYZ controller and I have the shape that I've drawn on the output mapping. So I could put any kind of shape here that I wanted. And then when I use the peak controller and a little trick with the formula controller, I can turn this into an LFO so that it'll repeat this exact shape. So here I have this peak controller that is just outputting a saw shaped LFO. And the shape is a saw because it needs to do this type of a movement where it kind of scans through this shape and then immediately jumps back into this start. Because if this was like a triangle, it would start reversing when it got into this point. So it would just like go backwards at the same rate. So yeah, that's why it's a saw because it just needs to repeat over and over again. So in the peak controller, I've enabled this LFO output and that is going into the X value input of the XYZ controller. And then I've also enabled the output of X. And here the X is going into a formula controller, which is just transforming this signal to be bipolar. And I've actually made an option slider where you can choose between unipolar and bipolar. And here you can see that shape that we drew in here. So this is the shape in the XYZ controller. And this is what it looks like here in the formula controller. So the XYZ controller is connected to the A knob. And then the B knob is the level or the range. I'm just going to switch the mode to bipolar. So now we can see that bipolar means that the midpoint is at 0 0.5. I'm just going to increase the speed a little bit so you can see it better. I need to invert this. It's Now it's like when I increase it, it'll become slower. <laughs> and when I decrease it, it'll become faster. But I'm going to do it soon. So when you change the level, it'll scale it up from 0 0.5 to both sides. And then when I switch this to unipolar, it'll scale it from zero, like the actual true zero, and just scale it upwards like this. And I'm going to explain a little bit about how this formula works. So here the 0 0.5 represents the midpoint, and I've added the C parameter and connected that into this slider. So when I slide it to bipolar, C will be one. And when I slide it to unipolar, C will be zero. So when C is zero, the entirety of this statement that is within the brackets will be zero. Cause it'll just be like zero minus zero. <laughs> so then what this formula is is just a times b and a is whatever is coming out of the p controller and the p controller by default is already unipolar and this essentially means that a times b like a times one so that's how the unipolar mode works so it'll scale nicely from the zero just to the positive side but then when I switch this one to bipolar in the peak controller, like there's really no difference when this, this volume is at full, there's no difference to the bipolar or the unipolar mode. Like it's just at full volume. But then when we start scaling this, I'm just going to set this to be 0 0.5. This side will result in 0.25. And this side will result in 0.5. So this bracket thing will be minus 0.25. And two minus signs will become a plus. So now it'll be A times B plus 0.25. So here we can see that this will offset the output by that 0.25. So it'll raise the level so that it's just... It's not starting from zero. So the point of this formula is to always offset the output with the correct amount in order to 
kind of keep it in the center. That was a bit of a crazy explanation. I hope that it made at least a little bit of sense. And finally, I just have this citrus here and I've connected this LFO into the mod X and the mod X is connected to the pitch of operator one. But again, like this, this is, this is what you connect to whatever you want to control with this LFO, but you can hear we have this type of a sound. And now I could also show you how to invert a knob if you have a situation where you need to do that. So let's open up another formula controller, enable the A parameter and the output. So I'm just gonna connect this rate knob into the formula controller and then the output back into the P controller. And then in here, I'm just gonna say one minus A. So now it'll be the inverse of this knob. As you can see, this knob is at 100% and this is at 0%. And you know, sky is the limit with this shape. Like I could do something like this. I could just add like stairs <laughs> in here. I could add, oh shit. <laughs> So yeah, that was it for this tutorial. I hope that you will find this useful for your projects. And if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and leave a comment. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.